verb two, nominative, nominative and accusative, casus. Case is called in German casus. Yeah. We are learning cases, casus. So we, we just concentrate on one and two today. Okay. Later, maybe we'll go also for the third one, dative. So nominative is used in a sentence, as you can see here for the subject, and accusative is used for the direct object. So what is the subject? It's defined. Subject is defined by some somebody or something that takes action. Yeah, the one who takes action is called the subject. OK, and what is the direct object? Something that receives the action or someone, not only something, but also someone that receives the action is direct object. OK, so for example, um, should be just go and check maybe better. As you can see here, the example is given in English. You have one example. The woman sees the girl. Let's try to see say this sentence in German. How do you say how 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 do you think you can say the woman sees the girl in German? What is woman in German? Frau. Yes. And how do you say seeds? Oh, no. You, we have to conjugate Jane. You have to remember it's irregular verb. Ich sehe, du siehst, er sie, es sieht, wir sehen, ihr seht, sie sie sehen. No. And what is the girl? How do you say girl? Seat, no? So, so I have put it in the chat box. You can say, the Frau sieht das Mädchen. Yeah, in English, the woman sees the girl. Okay, so now we have to, as you can also say, what is the subject in this sentence? The Frau. She is the one who is doing the action. No, she is seeing. So she is the subject. And what she is saying or whom she is saying, seeing, she is seeing the girl. If it is a person, then you will say whom, no, as in English. And if, if it is a thing, you say what, no. So the Frau Zeet does mention. So here the Frau is the nominative nominative case and the summation is the uh, accusative case okay so now here the second is um example uh it's other way around you can also say the summation the brow so what happens here here the girl is seeing so she is the subject and whom she is seeing? She is seeing the woman. No? So woman is the direct object. Okay. So the woman is adjective case. So this is the first and second example. Now there is one more example, third one, which is a different kind of sentence. As you can see, Donald Trump is, is the president. How do we say that in German? Donald. Yeah, president. President. Need loud. Okay. So in ma this case, yes. Ma'am, for uh, match and ma'am, why do we use thus? Why not the? Because it's a female, uh, feminine, right? Where? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's an exception. If you remember, I had mentioned that a noun which ends with shen are all neutral. So even if it's girl, 
in low hum, uh, like when it's about relationship human beings and where the gender is quite clear normally it's like that like boy will be masculine and all that only exception is girl does mention maybe because it ends with shen yeah so it uh, just remember it it will be neutral okay so now the last one donald trump is their president in this example both are considered nominative yeah, Donald Trump is nominative. He's the subject. And that's why nom nominative. And president, their president is also nominative. Yeah. One thing is, it is the complement to the subject. If something comes after the verb as a complement to the subject, then that's also nominative case. Okay. That's how it is. And if you see here, uh, there is another way of understanding. Here, the verb that is used is sign. Sign. What is sign verb? To be. No? To be like ish bin, do based, air z, s, ist, beer, zin, ear, zin, z, z, zin. Yeah. So whenever you have sign verb in a sentence, then what? follows that sign verb will be nominative. Okay, that's why it is also nominative. There is another verb which is called haben, to have, no? Something that follows this word, this verb, haben, is always accusative. So remember it, sign is always followed by nominative and haben is always followed by accusative. That is also one thing important. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so now we first we already learned that uh, accusative nominative is the subject in the sentence. Accusative is the object in the sentence, direct object of the sentence. Okay, now we learn the table. Okay, and then we'll uh, I'll also tell you the W questions that comes together with them. So let's learn the table first. Um, how is it? Uh, we, we will do it together. So I'm going to read it slowly so you can repeat after me and that way you'll remember. If you have any doubt, you can still ask. Yeah. So let's start with the nominative. Nominative, masculine, neutral, feminine, plural. Okay. So we begin with masculine. Okay. So dear Tish. Ein Tisch, kein Tisch, mein Tisch. No? Then das Bad, Neutrum, ein Bad, kein Bad, mein Bad. Then feminine, DQ sure, I accuse, I accuse, mine accuse. Then plural, Tischule. Keine Stühle, meine Stühle. Okay. So as you can see, the dare, does, d are definite articles, no? For masculine, neutral, and feminine. And plural is d. Then you have ein, ein, eine. And that is indefinite article, unbestimmte article. Then you have kein, kein, keine, keine. That's his unbestimmter article, negative. Okay. And then haben wir mein, mein, meiner, meiner. That's his possessive article. So that's how you call them. So we are already familiar with this. That table we have learned. No, in when we were dealing with ein und kein. 
So today we just make little bit addition. We add acrojatic table. So as you can see, only one thing is different in acrojatic. That is masculine singular. Yeah. And all other things like neutral, feminine, plural, those things are uh, same. Both the tables are exactly same. So let's read it one more time. Acrojatic. Masculine. Tentish. Ainentish. Kainentish. Minentish. Then Neutrum. Das Bad. Ein Bad. Kein Bad. Mein Bad. Then Feminine. Die Kusche. Ein Kusche. Kein Kusche. Mein Kusche. Then total Istulo Kaina Stulo Mina Stulo. Yeah. So now tell me if you remember what is we highs their dish of English. What is dish called in English? What is dish in English? Table. Table. Yes, very good. And bad. Bathroom. No, that's bad. Bathroom. Okay. And then uh, future. Kitchen. And Stuhler, do you know what is Stuhler? It's Chair. plural. Yes, their stool, the Stuhler. Their stool is a chair, the chair, the Stuhler is chairs. Yeah, so it's a plural form. So what we are going to do now, next, next slide, let's try to identify in the sentence the case. If we can identify between nomina nominative and accusative, this is not really important. It's for you to fill if you feel like doing it. It just tells that how do you define a nominative case? It's for used for subject as we discussed. A subject is somebody who does the action. Accusative case is used for the object, direct object, and direct object is something that receives the action. Yeah, so it's basically that. So let's come to this one. So here, as you can see, first three is already solved. Looking at the sentence, we have to identify whether some, what is underlined. That's something that is underlined, whether it is nominative or accusative. So first is already solved. Das ist nicht meine Katze. Nominative. So as you remember. In, from the previous slide or previous the previous slide, I mentioned that a verb which takes sign a sentence which has sign. If it the noun which follows that sentence uh, that verb sign will always be nominative. And if a sentence has haben as a verb, so what follows haben will take accusative. Okay, so if you go to with that logic, you know the first sentence has signed verb is no. So here you have katsa is nominative. This is nicht meine katsa. Second one, their computer is to their alt. Their computer is the subject. Yeah, so the computer is very old. Again, so it's a subject, so it is nominative. Third one, ich habe einen to that. So as I told told you, haben is always followed by accusative. So that's why bruder is accusative. Now let's move to the next one. Number four, 
वो एस्ट माइन ब्रूडर वट इज ब्रूडर हेयर नॉमिनाटिव और आपोजाटिव नॉमिनाटिव यस because it's followed uh, there is sign verb here uh, before uh, before this brooder next one who uh, somebody would like to read the sentence that's also important that you read who would like to read sashank you would like to read the next sentence Okay, ma'am. Is Das fewer than computer? Yeah. What do you think it is? Computer here? Nominative? No. It's a. Uh, it's difficult to know, but uh, you can make a guess that it's accusative because there is this article. You see, Dane. Dane is used in accusative. No. If you look at the table, if you see the table, you will remember. second here dain tesh no anand tesh so here also you have their computer becomes dain computer so you can make a guess that probably this is accusative but it's not it's accusative for a different reason this is not the object direct object in the sentence yeah, I, i know you were going with that logic that there is this verb sign verb but here we have a preposition which is pure pure is a preposition that takes accusative case that's why it became pure than computer we are going to learn soon prepositions so it will be clear is that pure than computer is this for the computer okay let's move to the next one you can read the next one also shashank Ish habe aina sorry. Ish habe aina katsa. Yeah. So what is katsa here? Nominative or accusative? Accusative. Yes. Have a verb. No. I have a cat. Okay. Now. Um, Hardship. Can you read uh, number uh, seven? Yes, ma'am. Mine house is next next gross. Yeah. So what is house here? Ma'am, nominative. Yes. Mine house is next gross. Yeah, that's the subject. Yeah. So nominative. Okay. Um. Abhinav K, can you read the next one? Das war main house. Mine, mine, mine house. house. Yeah. So was this house nominative or the accusative? Mm. Is it nominative, ma'am? Yes, it is nominative. But how did it become nominative? it's because of the verb but, no sign yes. verb is used but in the past tense do you remember we have done the past tense of sign verb how does it work ish var do warst er z s war ihr waren ihr wart z z waren i'm putting it again was no this was my house so again the verb that is used here is sign verb past tense so that's why it is nominative okay um abhinav abhinav ke who spoke right now it was abhinav yes ma'am okay you can say the next one also do best mind bro then yeah so what is do to here nominative or the accusative um nominative this is nominative yeah this is we the nominative 
ओके हर्षित नुमत सेन लेजन जी नुमत सेन या माइन ऑटो ईस्ट ब्लाउ सो मस इस ऑटो हियर नॉमिनेटिव या माइ ऑटो माइ कार इज ब्लू very good this is the basic identification between nominative and accusative now we will i'll just bring some more ppts and we'll learn more we go little bit more in like uh, in the application of the rule so let's share the next ppt ma'am are there any exceptions to this exception to what I'm picking between nominative and accusative. Like we saw the verb, right? And told. No, here we saw the verb, and on the basis of the verb, we decided. And there is no exception in this context. If you are having haven, then what will follow the haven will be accusative. And if you have zain, what will follow zain will be nominative. that that is one thing second thing now we are going to do more in detail you will see we have to now we will focus on what is the subject in the sentence what is the object in the sentence and subject is nominative object is accusative like that okay so like you can see frag abuter here we have only for the persons we are also going to i'm also going to tell you about as we okay so we we have one question that is where and then which is as you can see in the ppt is nominative nominative and the second one is when which is accusative in english where is who no where means who who is coming as you can see all the action is done done by like for that we use the w question who who is coming who is going who is attending the class who is bunking the class who is shutting the window so somebody is in action so that is in german called where yeah and that is nominative nominative yeah it's used for the subject this question is used for the subject yeah and that will be nominative case and the table you have learned in the last pptes okay now this is for the person okay now accusative for uh, person a uh, person the question is used is who no in german as you can see we say when yeah so it's used for like whom are you calling whom are you seeing yeah whom are you inviting like that whom are you questioning so that whom is accusative and for that the german word is when so remember these two beside that we also have was was is a question common between nominative and accusative was is used also in nominative case was is used also in accusative case but in nominative was is very simple only this kind of question is nominative was was is thus so you can say thus is ein ball their ball masculine no this is ein ball feminine will be das ist eine schokolade this is a chocolate di schokolade yeah or neutral will be das ist ein book das book so you are answering what question assistance no if you have where is thus that is also possible to make a sentence like this no where is thus who is this so this is about the person this is ein freund this is a friend yeah if it is a boy 
If it is a girl, this is Aina joined in. The girl, this is a friend again. And neutral will be the sister Ein Kind. This is a child. So these are all. But here, uh, more than where is thus, my attention is on was is thus. But I'm trying to say was means what is used in nominative and also in accusative. But you have to learn to distinguish. So nominative was is when you have a question like this, was is thus. And that's how you respond. How is, what is accusative was? In accusative, you will say was leads to There is a subject, there is an action happening, and you have to add more information. Like, was leads to? What are you reading? So, this was is accusative was. You will respond as, is laser einen Roman? I am reading a novel. Roman is dear Roman. That's why einen Roman. Suppose you want to say, I am reading a book, so it's you will see it's laser ein book. I am reading a story. It's laser in a Geschichte. Feminine. Geschichte is feminine. A story. Okay. So was leads to was speed to you playing. Ish pile shark. Shark means chess. I'm playing chess. Yeah. So that is the difference between nominative and accusative pass. I hope it's clear. Let's move to the next. We'll do one exercise. So as you can see, here we have to do this. Instruction is in the in English, so you can see it. But we have to do. We have to put only definite article. No. <laughs> so how do we know? Uh, first, to know to fill the definite article, we have to have two knowledge knowledge of the gender of the noun and second thing knowledge of the case you should know the gender and you should also know the case okay then it works so um you look at the first one and tell me what do you think what is the gender of the what is class and sima what's the gender Does anyone Neutrum. know? Yes, very good. Neutrum. Das Sima, no? So, das class and Sima. And what do you think then? It's very simple. Uh, now you have to determine the case. What do you think it's uh, nominative or accusative? Do you think it's a subject or it's the object? You, after that, you will know what to do. It's, Mom, it's a subject. Yes, no, it's the subject of the sentence. So it will be das Klassenzimmer. Das Klassenzimmer ist nicht sehr groß. Okay, let's move to the next one. Nummer zwei. Stuhl is kaput. What will we do here? What's the article of stool? What's the what gender it has? Masculine, feminine, or neutral? Masculine. Masculine. So what will we do here? Dare. Yes. Read the sentence. Dare stool is kaput. Yes. What is kaput? What's the meaning of kaput? Broken. Yes. 
the chair is broken. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. Number three. Man, cow, stool, nest. You know the article for all both the nouns, so you should be able to do it. Ma'am, is it a uh, der man coughed then stool nished? Yes, it's like it, it's that. Yeah, their man coughed then stool nished. Yeah, so nominative and accusative both. In this sentence, you have both the cases. In the previous ones, you had only nominative case. The two sentences, those are like baby, baby sentences. Now you are slowly learning, going to learn more complex sentences. You will learn more rules and you can express yourself more. OK, so next one, number four. Busher, what is Busher? <laughs> Plural of book, no? Books. So D, article will be D. So number four is, again, it's subject, so nominative. So it will become? D Busher. Yeah, to complete the sentence. D. Busher, Zin, Serald. Yeah, the books are very old. And now the next one. You can also try the next one, number five. Katrin Hart, definite article. All the time we have to put definite article. So what do we do here? Katrin Hart. Uh, Debusher. Yes, Katrin Hart Debusher. Again, though in the previous sentence Debusher is nominative, in this sentence Debusher is accusative. But as you remember, as we have done in the table, in both the cases, nominative and accusative, plural, Rule is same. So, debut show. Okay, number six. Who will do number six? Go ahead, count. Onkel, onkel, uncle. So what do we do? Um, boher comp, then onkel. Then why then? Uh, because it is uh, your. Okay, no. I was thinking no it. Then. Sorry. Boher comp. Is what it like you your, your uncle, like thine? Yeah, how do you want to say thine? Thine uncle. That's correct. Thine you uncle. can say thine. Thine uncle. Sometimes just to emphasize, one can say dear uncle, the uncle. Not uh, stylistically better is to say thine, but sometimes their uncle, just to emphasize. Oh, here come to their uncle. Where does the uncle come from? Yeah. So. But thine is also correct. Then is not correct. No, this sentence again has only nominative. You cannot make a sentence without ha having a subject. Along with subject, you can have direct object, indirect object, preposition, verb, and all that. But subject is needed in a sentence. Yeah. Now let's move to the next one. Porzal. It's given in the uh, bracket that it's masculine. No. So what do we do? Wo hair com. Ah, uh, sorry. Wo finde ish. Uh, 
वो फिंडे इश देर होर सा थैंक अगेन देर इज करेक्ट एज अ आर्टिकल फॉर दिस नाउन बट नाउ यू कंसीडर द केस बट केस इज इट यू हैव इश देन यू हैव फिंडे देन यू हैव होर सा so you have ish as the subject then ish is looking for the lecture hall thursal is lecture hall so where do i find the lecture hall so it is accusative thursal is accusative who can they ish then thursal yeah okay let's move to the next one next one you have a new kind of verb so i will just explain it maybe later we learn unroof unroof and the verb it's not roofen there are two different verbs one is only roofen roofen means to call just somebody is somewhere and you are calling that person unroofen is to make a phone call and it is separable verb you have a prefix here an so when you are using this kind of verb you put the roofen like you will conjugate roofen which is the root of the verb and put it in the second position as you can see it's in the second position and an will go in the end so here on frau schmidt in schmidt d will be silent roofen then you have to think now what to put zone on doctor and so what do you think you will put what do we what do we put here Um, will it be then son und uh, the toaster doctor doctor oh. yeah correct no so they are calling up the son and the daughter yeah if you want to say it's yeah for now we are only learning this much but if you really want to uh, do more then you have possessive they are calling up their son and their daughter that also we can say so how will we say their son and their daughter we have to say eren for their eren zone and i would prefer that you stick to den and d here yeah just for your variation and maybe master it no eren zone und ihr a doctor means their son and their daughter okay quickly number 9 spielt zone spielt basketball definite article again son is masculine so we can say and son is also the subject because son is taking the action playing foot basketball so der der yes der son spielt basketball yeah the son is playing basketball okay now the last one last one we do together i i give you the article of all the nouns you have many nouns so you have to decide i will give you the article you have to decide the case and accordingly you put it the first noun is tafel tafel means board no black board white board in the class the board simply d tafel the second word is der schreibe ish the working table next is there 
papier cord. The dustbin. And after that, you have dance, dust fenster, the window. So now you know the articles. Tell me how will you use, how will you make the sentence complete? Be a Zane. Um, we are Zane and yeah. D. Tafel. Yeah. Uh, Den Schreibe, Schreibtisch. Yeah. Uh, das Paper Corp. No, article for Papier Corp. There. Oh. Zain. Papierko. Uh, un das Fenster im Klassenzimmer. Yes, very good. So, all these things are object. We see, what do we see? We see the board, the working table, the dustbin, and the window in the classroom. That is the sentence. Okay. So, um, we got one more exercise. Do we complete it? On the next page, or we do partly, and you can do partly. We have here indefinite article. So, uh, in the previous slide, we did definite article. Here, we are going to use indefinite article again, depending on the case, nominative or accusative. Okay. So, for example, again, you have to remember the case. Uh, remember all the gender of all the nouns. So for now, through these exercises, you will slowly be able to uh, memorize few of them. No, you can probably tell, okay, book is, for example, book. What's the article for book? Feminine, masculine, what it is? Feminine. Book. Book is? Oh. Neutral. Yes, book is neutral. Fish is. I have put in the chat. Box. Dish. You can. Dish is yeah. masculine. Yes, and lamp is feminine. Lampo. So that's book D. Their dish D. Lampo. We have to do put it here in indefinite article. What do we do? You have to also think what case it is. Like Martina is, I think, subject and Haben is the verb. So what will follow will be all accusative now. So we have to think of accusative table. So that's book, what will it become? Ein book. And Tish. Is masculine, so what will it become? Nentish, und lampe. Feminine is eine lampe. No, you can say Martina hat ein book, einen Tisch und eine lampe. Yeah, Martina has a book, a table, and a lamp. Okay, next one, Numat Swai. Freundin heißt Karin und Freund heißt Rene. So what do we do here? As you know, Freundin is feminine, Freund is masculine. We can use here possessive article, no? Like my friend is called, like the girl, the girlfriend is called Karin, the boyfriend is called Rene. No. So how do we do that? Tell me, how do you do? 
my meine yeah. freundin heißt karen yeah und meinen freund heißt rene why meinen oh it's a, 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 a my okay. freund heißt rene this sentence there is no object as you remember if you say meine freundin heißt karen in this sense you have meine freundin as nominative and karen is complementary to freundin so karen is also nominative so two nominative so in this sentence you have four nominative case no meine freundin heißt karin und mein freund heißt rene so no accusative at all okay let's move to the next one heute habe ich ma'am stift yes can we do it uh, sometime later because ma'am i have right now a class at 8 yes ma'am i also have a class from 8 to 9 okay so uh, if you get time you work on it and we'll because it's important to go through this exercise so we'll carry on with this in the next class okay and ma'am a uh, 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 doubt for yes ma'am a uh, doubt where do you have doubt what happened your voice is suddenly low hello yes Your voice is low, Pranjal. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Can't hear you. Hello. Yes. Ma'am, I yes. was asking that do we need to have a person asking those questions uh, which you put in the DA uh, uh, like a proper interview, and then we need to answer. 